Hawthorne. The super cool detective Sonny Crockett, right down to his designer stubble. He'll be talking about how Miami Vice has changed his life and all those rumours, is he going to marry Barbara Streisand? But first mm. tonight, a look at the sexy image is America's top TV cop, Miami Vice's Don Johnson, who'll be speaking with Joe in just a moment. By all reports, he's left a trail of broken hearts halfway across the United States and back again. Maybe it's those icy cool eyes that have a habit of making everybody melt, including the bad guys. Go ahead, Mosca. Make it easy. Don, thank you very much for joining us on Live at Five. Thank you for having me, Joe. Well, if we could start by talking about Miami Vice. How long do you think the Sonny Crockett character is going to last? Well, um, that's pretty much up to the, uh, to the viewing public. I mean, as long as, as long as they want to see Miami Vice, we'll make them. It's been very successful here in Australia. And I think people wonder how much of Don Johnson himself there is in Sonny Crockett. Well, uh, with with any character that you that you design, there's there there are bound to be some similarities. Uh, um, some of um, some of Sonny's uh, hard par hard party and qualities uh, I've shared uh, before in my life, and uh, and uh, uh, his I think his sense about justice and fair play and uh, and his his concern about humanity and uh, and when someone when someone dies it it isn't just a um, uh, a throwaway if you'll pardon the expression it's it, it means something and I I think that what I've what I've tried to give Crockett is uh, is a um, some of the sense of loss that I sometimes feel when I when I've lost someone close to me. Now, last June, um, you're reported as having gone off the booze completely, and you have in the past had a problem with drugs and, and alcohol. Does it bother you that the press seems to um, concentrate on this aspect of your life? Well, let me just put it this way. It's, it's, um, it's something that, uh, that was, in, uh, you know, it's been like six years ago, and it's something that, that uh, that um, I recognized a problem like uh, like um, like any disease that you can that you can contract, um, and I did something about it. As far as the press is concerned, I uh, you know I, I think that um, by and large, for for most of the time that I've been on Miami Vice, I've never read one story that was accurate um, about me, good or bad. You know, I I don't understand it really. I mean. I, I think that I have a far more interesting life with the truth without, <laughs> without making up a lot of uh, trashy lies. It must make it very difficult for you to have a, a relationship with somebody when you know it's going to be written about in that way. Well, let's put it this way. If, um, if you were, uh, <laughs> if you were uh, asked out on a date by me, wouldn't you want to think twice about it before you uh, exposed your life and to the to the public like that? I I would say that from what I've read, Don, you're the sort of guy that every girl shouldn't go out with, but possibly uh, couldn't help herself. Hey, hey, hey! Now wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute here. <laughs> that's uh, that's uh, not at all true. I'm a gentleman of the first order. <laughs> well, speaking of relationships, there's been a lot of press here about you and Barbara Streisand. Now, she was one of the first ladies in Hollywood to don the producer's hat. Has she been helping you with your career? Not at all. No. We are, uh, the only thing that we've done uh, uh, professionally is that we've, we've sung a duet together for, um, that will be released, uh, I believe, in the fall of uh, this year. Uh, but other than that, our, our um, other than just um, conversation and uh, and um, and uh, opinions about uh, different things here and there, we're we're very close, and uh, she's uh, uh, she's one of the most intelligent and talented uh, ladies that I've ever had the pleasure of uh, of uh, sharing uh, company with, and um, uh, beyond that, we really haven't defined our our relationship. There are rumors of marriage in Australia between <laughs> you and Barbara. Any grounds you in see, those at all? 
You see, now I told you, you cannot be reading that stuff. It'll poison your mind. <laughs> but I have to ask you the question, Don, because everybody expects me to. <laughs> um, I have no plans for marriage. Fair enough. To Barbara or anyone else, for that matter, at this, at this point in my life. Well, Don, thank you very much for speaking to us today. Thank you. Joe Pearson with Miami's main man, Don Johnson. Back after the break. Don Johnson, born 1949, self-confessed hellraiser, married and divorced three times, has one son. Salary from Miami Vice, about $140,000 an episode. Next, Greg Matthews makes his debut in Australian Rules.